Hello guys, this is Brother Mitch. Welcome back to our show today. Today I'm talking about the Trinity and understanding what the Trinity is. Many people or many of our listeners have asked questions about the Trinity. Uh, A lot of Christians don't understand it exactly, the three in one, uh, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And you know, if you look into the word, really, it's simple to understand it uh, if you read it. And today we're going to look at a couple passages that explain what the Trinity is and how it works. So if you have your Bibles, you can grab those. We're going to be in Genesis and we're going to be in the book of John today. And I think you're really going to be blessed by today's program. We're going to take a moment just to give you a little bit of information about our program. And then we'll be right back with today's Bible lesson. Welcome to the Mitch Carmack Podcast. Learn to walk in health, protection, and divine favor. Learn lessons to increase your faith. Now let's welcome our Bible teacher and host, Brother Mitch. We're very glad that you joined us for today's episode. At the end of the podcast today, find out how you can send us your prayer requests and any comments. Also, we will provide you with information on how to contact us. Now let's begin today's Bible lesson. Well, if you have your Bibles today, turn with me to Genesis chapter 1. And let's start today in verse 26, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Again, today we're talking about the Trinity. And before we jump into this uh, passage of scripture, I just wanted to say that I hope you all had a nice Easter this week and uh, got to spend some time together with your family. Uh, That's always a time of blessing for us where we all came together. And this was the first year in a long time that our entire family was actually uh, together, we met at my mom and dad's and, uh, I was with my two sisters up in Lexington. They all brought their families with them and, uh, what a blessing it was. So that's the resurrection. Now we're moving forward into the spring and the summer. Uh, the weather's getting nicer here in Kentucky and, uh, it's an exciting time. Okay. If you have your Bibles, look in Genesis chapter one, verse 26. Many people have asked about the Trinity. A lot of Christians don't understand the Christ. The Trinity, you know, a lot of them ask me, they say, Mitch, how can three different elements be one? Do we worship three different gods? Well, we worship one God, but there's different elements. There's different, the Father, we have the Father, we have the Son, and we have the Holy Spirit. And a lot of people don't understand it, so we're going to try to get some uh, understanding from what the Word says today in Genesis chapter 1. Verse 26. Now, this is the very beginning of the Bible, written by Moses. And look at, look at verse 26. God said, I find this really interesting. Mark this in your Bible. God said, let us make man in our image. Now, you notice here God did not say, let us. Me make man in my image. He said, us and our. So we clearly hear, see here that the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit existed together from the beginning of time. Before the earth was ever created, there was the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. They've always existed. They've always existed. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea over the fowl of the earth, over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And look at this, verse 27, God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. God made and created us in his very image. Nothing else in creation is like that. Not even angels are created in the image of God, but we are. What a blessing that is. So Jesus and the Holy Spirit was with God at the very beginning. They not only created the earth, but they actually created man together. Now, if you take your Bibles and flip over to John, I want to show you in the New Testament how Jesus existed in the beginning and he helped create the earth. A lot of people think that You know, Jesus came on the scene when he was born of a virgin Mary. But we find that Jesus existed before the creation of the world. And the Bible says that he helped actually create it. 
and with the help of the Holy Spirit as well, he created man. Now look in John chapter 1, verse 1. The Bible says that in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. We know that John is speaking here of Jesus because verse 14 says that the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld the glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. In the beginning was Jesus, and Jesus was with God, and Jesus was God. Jesus is actually God in the flesh. When he came to this earth, he had to take the form of a man so that he could be born into the earth to save us from our sins. Look at verse 2. The same was in the beginning with God. Jesus was there. And here's the verse I want you to see, verse 3. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything that was made. Jesus helped, or actually was in charge of creating the earth. And then look at verse 10. He was in the world. The world was made by him. It was created by him, but the world knew him not. Jesus was with God. The, the Bible says that he was God and Jesus is God in the flesh. Don't let anybody tell you that Jesus was just a man, that Jesus was just a good teacher. Jesus is God. Jesus is God in the flesh. And he was with God from the very beginning. Now, I want to explain this is the best way. And this is the way that I, well, I was taught when I was young. And I think it's the best understanding of what the Trinity is is to compare the Trinity to that of a cherry pie. Now, if you think about it, a cherry pie, which is my favorite pie, has three ingredients. It has a shell or a crust. It has filling and it has cherries. There's three different parts of that pie, but yet it's one pie. So it is with the Trinity. There's three different parts, but it's one. And it's the very same with Stephanie, my wife, and I. You know, when we got married and we came together, the Bible says in Genesis that we became one flesh. There's two of us, but we're one. Well, Jesus is just as much God as the Father's God. The same is true with the Holy Spirit. And, you know, a lot of churches don't talk a whole lot about the Holy Spirit, but The Spirit of God is what lives on the inside of us. And it's just as important as the Father and just as important as Jesus. And we need to do more teaching on the Holy Spirit. Maybe we should with this podcast. (laughs) We'll do that. But God is a three-part being. He's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So I hope today that gives you just a little bit better understanding of uh, how Jesus actually helped create the earth, uh, how the spirit lives within us, and all these three beings make up as one. I want to take time today before we close just to say a prayer for you today. Uh, I want to thank you guys for listening today. And here's, I, I wanted to do this before we close today. If you all have questions, Bible questions, any kind of questions, please go to our Facebook page, Mitch Carmack Ministries. And send us a, an email or a link through Messenger, some questions that you might have that you'd like to see uh, explained or, uh, you know, talked about on our program. And uh, we always want your feedback. So if you have any questions, if you have any topics that you want to talk about, uh, hear about, hit us up on our website, mitchcarmack.org, and we'll be glad uh, to do that for you. Again, we love you. We thank you for listening today. Uh, We're really grateful for all the people up in Michigan and Ohio that are listening uh, every single week. Uh, We have listeners in California, uh, Texas, uh, all over the, of course, a lot of listeners in Kentucky, but all over the world now 
are listening to our podcast. And God is blessed in this program. So please pray for us. We're praying for you every single day. And uh, I want to take time today to pray for you. Father, I thank you for those listening today. And I just pray, Father, divine favor, divine health, and divine prosperity upon their family today. Bless them, Lord. Show your presence to them. And we give you thanks for Jesus today. In Jesus' name, amen. Again, thank you for listening. This is Brother Mitch reminding you that God keeps his promises and his promises are true. God bless you. We hope you enjoyed today's program. Please take the time to subscribe to our show. Feel free to share our podcast on social media and on Facebook. Add our Facebook page at our website, mitchcarmack.org. There you can click on the contact tab and share your prayer requests and comments. Well, until next time, this is Sammy Smith reminding you that God keeps his promises and his promises are true. God bless you.